my gosh. Oh my gosh, he was right there. He was right there. What's up, my dudes? How's it going today? Dak Blake here. Today, we're playing the new Man from the Window game. That's right. Zen Technician has made a new game called No Strings Attached. I have no idea what it's about. Maybe it's ab about strings on boxes because of the main menu. I have no idea. But I'm excited. We're going to hang out today. You know me, your boy Dak Blake. I'm going to try to break things, do things in my own way, and have some fun. But um, yeah, because I have no idea what this is about, let's just jump in and uh, let's see. All right. So the game is loading up. Oh, we already, like, we were in the room that we started off with. Okay. Oh, 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 jeez. Okay. All right. What, what's with all the shaking? Oh, jeez. Okay. All right. Starting off very hectically. Oh, okay. We have a character named Maggie. Oh, look. She has, like, a third eye. Wow. So uh, we got to give her a voice. We always do voices for Zed Technician games. So what would she sound like? Maybe, like... Uh, okay, who's making up all that dang racket, huh? <laughs> I feel like I'm bad with voices. She goes on to say, Keep it up, and I'll put you out on the street. Don't go thinking I won't now. Making all that noise, and I'm trying, and that who's in that right mind. Wait, there ain't no guests in here tonight. Okay, so she goes... She's walking. She's got a cane. Okay. All right. We always get that moment, the intense moment at the beginning of these games. All right. Whoever or whatever's in here, you'd better listen up and listen good too. I <laughs> I I'm going to bed. <laughs> I thought it was going to be like an intense thing. Like, you know what? You're not messing with me. She's like, you know what? Don't mess with me. I will cry. <laughs> I'm going to bed. You okay? You can stay. You can leave. Don't matter too much to me. But wake me up again, and we're gonna have problems. Got it? You know what? That's kind of fair, honestly. She's like, if anybody's here, and you're not even like booking a room, you could stay here. Just don't wake me up. <laughs> oh wait, there's a box on the table that just says "Open me." Okay, and she says. What kind of a darn fool do you take me for? I ain't opening that. Oh, okay. What's going on though? Oh, what? What? Oh, oh okay. Ah, uh, what? What was that? Jeez, the, 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 it's a shoot. Yeah, there's just a hand coming out of the ceiling. So we're starting off our journey with this. Find the clue, then open your gift. Eight missing legs. What is eight missing legs? Can I open up any door? It's a broom closet, okay? <laughs> eight missing legs. I, when I think of eight legs, I think of spider. So eight missing legs, is it like a dead spider? I don't I don't know, is that, uh, is that what it is? Eight missing legs. Oh, the rooms have numbers on them. Okay, so I think this is eight, right? Is V is five, I think. Uh, so if this is eight, um, is uh, so maybe room eight, something that's missing legs, maybe like a table or chair no there's nothing um i am not sure maybe i should check out every room i know there's a time limit to every zed technician game but every room has a present in it i see so it, it literally was in the beginning i was like it's about boxes with strings attached there's literally strings attached all right excuse me where is my gift that's actually correct I, I, maybe i'm looking for a room with missing legs on the tables or something oh it's already 12 uh 12 p.m all right isn't 12 p.m the middle of the day yeah, isn't it? And also, this one's different. This one's different. What? What is going on in these rooms? Why are the, the clocks all set differently? Oh my gosh, there's a TV in here. Why is there a TV on? Hello? Oh, there's... An, okay, um... Maybe that's the room with the TV on? Oh, there's... Okay, there's a present right here. Oh gosh, is this right? Wrong one, it says. Okay. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. What's going on? Hey, hey, hey! I... What happened? As the intruder closed the distance between himself and Maggie, a single deafening thun thud reverberated throughout the night. Okay, what happened? Then all fell silent once more. Not long after, the intruder was dropped off at the local hospital by Maggie. What? She she's had the, the cane. She was like, hey, I told you. <laughs> she then casually went about her business that night. Oh, this is so different from normal, like, endings. The man had been knocked into a state of stone-cold unconsciousness after being bludgeoned by her cane. Despite her best efforts, the doctor was unable to wake him even after many, many attempts. 
the man didn't awaken until long after Christmas. Okay. So at least, at least they woke up. I thought she killed the guy. Okay. That was, <laughs> that was one of the endings. All right. So we just restarted and it says, find the clue, then open your gift. Vitamin C. So we're answering puzzles here. Whoever is here wants us to do some sort of puzzles. And then I guess they're trying to attack us if we pick wrong. How am I supposed to gauge this? Am I supposed to get some sort of clue here? Maybe there's oranges. You know what? I think I saw one with oranges in it. Hold on, that might be it. If you know anything about vitamin C, it's in a lot of citrus fruits and I don't see any of them in here. Hold on. Maybe I'm going crazy. Did I see oranges? What? <gasps> oranges right here. Okay, so this is mine. All right, open up. But hurry for at midnight, I will come to find you. It's dark outside. Uh. What is, what? What does that mean? How do I, how is this telling me what to do? Am I supposed to know what to do now? Can I turn on the lights? Okay, yeah, this one's a broom closet. That doesn't do anything. It's dark outside. All right, so we have to become puzzle solving machines apparently, all in an instant because I have no idea what to do. I can't turn on the lights. I can't really change anything. What is this? That's a different box. Hmm. So, um, I think these are labeled differently. 11 p.m. is, uh, in the middle of the night, but then it should go to 12 a.m., which would be midnight. But I think I keep seeing, like, 12 p.m. Maybe I could grab this candle? No, I can't. I, can, I can't turn on a light. I can't, what? I didn't click that. I, I was clicking too much. No, no. Okay, well, maybe it's the same ending? Yeah, it's the same ending. It's all the same. Not long after, dropped off at the hospital. Okay, so uh, <laughs> I guess because this person was trying to make Maggie do puzzles, they missed Christmas. Okay, now we have a new clue. So it says, find the clue, then open your gift. The best thing since, and oh, I actually don't know if everybody knows the answer, but the following thing to that is sliced bread. So the best thing since sliced bread, we have to find some sliced bread, I guess. You know what's interesting though? Oh yeah, here it is. Is that, um, <laughs> seems like these like clues are all food related. It's like this guy was like really hungry, started placing food around and was like, ha ha, look, I made you a feast. And then she just hits him. <laughs> He's like, hey, I was trying to make you some food, bread and orange. Okay, wait, but hurry for at midnight. I will come to find you a second box I think we saw that room right the room with the second box in it. So uh, It's very complicated. I do have to say but I think it's this one, right? So let's see. This is the next puzzle. It's dark outside uh, uh, That one I'm gonna have to figure out. Oh right here right here, right? Is this it's dark outside vitamin C? Oh, it's very easy when you open up all the rooms, but now we're getting all the clues here. Eight missing legs, that one I couldn't figure out. Oh man, I don't know. I've opened up, some boxes are ready. There's some on the bed. Oh, eight missing legs, uh, the chairs. Okay, you're eight missing legs. Okay, losing track of time. Something that's not right, right? That, that's what I was noticing. So on all of these, it says 11.18 p.m. Uh, 11.19, okay, it's going up fast. Ah, but this one, is the wrong one, I think, right? 11.21, this one says 12 p.m. I was right, it, it is wrong. Okay, so let's open it up. Oh, burn it at both ends, the candle. I feel like I've already become a wizard. <laughs> like I've just been finding, oh wait, but there was two candles. Hold on, let's make sure. So this is room six with a candle in it. Okay, I just wanna make sure that there's not another candle. I don't think there is, but okay. Let's see, come on, come on. I remain unmade, oh. What? 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 What do, what do, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Oh, okay. Can I hide? <laughs> I don't know what to do here. Am I supposed? Am I supposed to be walking? Hello? Hey. Um. I just want to say thank you for all the puzzles. We're, we can be friends. Come on. Let's be friends. Can I just like glitch myself into a corner here and just like <laughs> just just climb into the roof? I remain unmade. It has to be a bed, right? All right. Things are getting dark. Uh, I can't really see too well, but I know that I'm looking for a particular bed. So I don't, I think this is on the bed, but I don't know if it's unmade. It might be wrong. I want to make sure. I'm not too far uh, off of winning and I have like 
20 more. Oh, is that 20 seconds? Oh, I remain unmade. I remain unmade right there. There's the bed. Okay. I'm glad I didn't open the other one. Unheated food. All right, let's go. All right, unheated food. Oh man, you gotta memorize these things. Okay, 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 where do I go? Where do I go? I don't even know where the the boxes are that are remaining. I don't even know where they could be. I'm just walking across the hall back and forth. Ah, ha, ha. Okay, 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 I don't see anything. We're almost there. Uh, unheated food? I don't see anything. I don't see unheated food. No, this is the bread one. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Uh, is, this, is there unheated food in here? Oh, wait, 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 no microwave, no microwave. Okay, okay, seven years of bad luck. Is that a mirror? Is there a mirror in here? Oh, if you break a mirror, it's seven years of bad luck. Now I have to go to every room. Hold on. I think there's only a couple of left. Uh, okay, let's go. Let's see. Is it broken? It's not. So that's room eight that has a box left. Uh, there's not even rooms with a lot of boxes left. I think there's only like two. And I only have like seven more seconds. No, 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 no. Okay, okay. Things are getting stressful. Um, no, no, no. We already did this one. We already did this one. Uh, come on, come on. Where's their box? Where's their box? Where's their box? I don't see boxes here. Oh my gosh, is it that one? Let's go, I don't know, there was only one with the TV. The TV, the TV, the TV, let's just open it. It might be wrong. I don't even know. It was wrong, no! No, no, I was so close. Maybe I shouldn't have done it. Maybe I should have been more stealthy. Oh man, things are getting complicated, but I think I can solve it. I feel like I got a grasp of everything in the beginning. I was a little confused, like darkness or something, but I feel like I understand every single puzzle now. Now we can kind of speed run it. All right, the speed running time is about to begin. Vitamin C, wrong way, let's go. Let's open up all the doors too. And I don't know if they're randomized. They are, they are randomized. Okay, so now we have to kind of keep track of anything. Vitamin C, let's open you up, but hurry the best things in sliced bread. I think I saw sliced bread, haven't I? No, I didn't. All right, found the bread. Here we go. All right, losing track of time. Okay, you're losing track of time, right? Yeah, it has to be. Okay, come on. I remain unmade. Here's the bed one. So the last two in, in the thing are done. I got to keep track of that. I don't know what this TV one is. I remain unmade. This is the room. Okay, unheated food. We're looking for one without a microwave now. We can kind of just speed run through one without a microwave right here. Okay, it's crazy. The boxes move as well. Now it's dark outside is the next one, which is here. Boom, perfect. Burn it at both ends. We need the candle, which I think was the first room we opened. Man, I am doing it so fast now. All right, lost signal. That's the TV one. Oh, oh, okay, lost signal. There we go, eight missing legs. Now we're looking for the room without uh, chairs, which I think is this one. Okay, all right, I think I'm doing it really fast. This one, now where do I go? I think I'm supposed to look for the mirror, right? Or is that, I mean, that's what seven years of bad luck usually is like referencing. Oh man, oh man, I'm walking around aimlessly now. I have no clue, I feel like we did so many. And now like, am I supposed to just check every single one if there's like a secondary box? I don't even see anything. Is this, is it my room? Is it all the way back here? Oh man, this is taking up so much time. I, I'm actually doing really good though because we speed ran like the first half. I feel like I, uh, I have time to kind of look around. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. He was right there. He was right there. He just set the box down. Excuse me. Excuse me. Can you come out of there, please? All right. What do you got? He just set a box down for me. A second box. Okay. I know where that one is. All right. I am expecting him to come out of the woodworks here. Say hi to us. So let's prepare ourselves. Let's feel up. Uh, let's get into a welcoming mood. We got to say hi. All right. So. We're about to open some stuff. Open the closet. Oh no. <laughs> okay, so this is the thing in the beginning that was like, it's just a broom closet. All right, we've been waiting for you. This entire game has culminated to this point where the one broom closet we suspected was not a thing. Like, hey, it's just a broom closet. Could be the most dangerous door we open. So let's see it in three, two, one. Boop. Okay, okay. Ah. Hi, oh, hello, hi there, hey, uh, we're friends, we're friends, okay, he says, I've got you now, wait a minute, okay, so, it, it could be nice, you know, it looks like he's wearing, you know, a very Christmas we get up, he's like, in a, like a Santa costume, right, look at him, he, he could be 
happy. Oh, wait, he says, you're not Jimmy. And then Maggie goes, what? <laughs> it's like, you're not Jimmy. You're supposed to be here and you're not. <laughs> what does this even mean? Oh man. So he says he lives right here in 91890 Lane. But this is 61860 Lane. Oh man. So he's basically saying he's at the wrong house. And <laughs> wait, this is not even a house though. How could he get this wrong? Isn't this like a an apartment building almost? How do you mess that up? Now Maggie's like, hey, you better explain yourself. Okay, okay. So what is that an ending? Oh, okay, it's continuing. Dude, and he's got like a six pack. It just turns out he's a chill guy. So yeah, I live down at Moonwater Commune with my brothers and sisters. Yesterday, this guy shows up and he's all like, I want to cut this tree down and take it home to use for decoration. And we tell him, no, that's one of our sacred trees. Don't take that one. But then he starts chopping it down anyways. And I'm there, you know, I'm 100% ready to start throwing punches right then and there. He's, just, he's a chill guy. What? He's just casually like explaining. But then the Grand Elder shows up and he's like, no, Philip, you mustn't do that. You can't go and punch kids. Yada, yada, yada. <laughs> so I waited until everyone left, and then I tracked that guy down, and it turns out his name is Jimmy. And my plan was to just scare him a little bit, you know? I wasn't gonna hurt him or anything. But then I went down to the wrong address, so yeah. Uh, Sorry about that. Honestly, Philip, more than anything, just made kind of puzzles for him. It was kind of fun, you know? I didn't even think about that. He says, anyways, I gotta go, uh, Find Jimmy now. Are you crazy or something? You can't go do that, huh? You can't just go barging into folks' homes, boy. You could get hurt or worse. Uh, uh, uh what about Jimmy, though? It's like, forget about him. I, I know you're too young and headstrong. <laughs> oh my God. Wait, you know what I just realized? That she's basically talking to him like, hey, don't go and get yourself like killed or arrested, right? Oh my gosh. Yeah, she's just like trying to like, this is the, supposed to be the monster of the game. We're like, hey, don't. Don't do that. Oh man, she's literally just giving him a whole speech about breaking and entering. But enough of that, <laughs> and enough of dealing with you and your nonsense for tonight. So get lost and let me sleep in peace. You know what, fair. He's like, oh, okay, <laughs> thanks miss. All right, now he's walking out. Dude, I mean, he is so buff, right? Look at that. I mean, why, why does this guy care? You know, I mean, I guess I understand. He told the kid no, chopped down the tree anyway. I don't know, I'm kind of almost on his side, like, hey. Yeah, I told you no. <laughs> well, <laughs> I guess, I guess we did it. I don't know if there's like a way to do a secret ending on this one. There really was no secret unless we started up and there's like that room at the end of the hall. Do you think that would make a difference? Yeah, I don't think there is a, uh, like a way. Yeah, it doesn't let you open it. Okay. Well, that has been no strings attached. I hope you enjoyed. It was a very interesting game, very cool puzzles, and it was very simple to catch along. You know, sometimes with Zed Technician games, they can get really complicated, but this one is very simple. I feel like you kind of understood it after the first try. But yeah, nevertheless, I'm gonna leave it here. I hope you're having a great day today. I hope I can make you smile. And if you're ever feeling bad, you can look up Dak Blake. We can play some games together and I could cheer you up once more. Thank you for subscribing as well as we go on to 2 million. I literally say it every time. It blows my mind that we're almost at 2 million. Seriously, it's crazy. It's, it's a giant number, 2 million people. I thank God every day I'm able to do things like this, all to make you smile. You know, playing games differently, doing things weird, doing mods. All I want to do is make you smile every single day. And uh, yeah, hopefully you tune in in the next video, probably coming up right now. I'll see you there. Thank you guys for watching. And as always, peace out, my dudes.